And then you look at the rest of our border system. And honestly, it's like a sieve. Just the other day, the Home Office admitted it's lost track of thousands of people that they think have no right to be here. And yet, still, the government refuses to do anything than focus all its time and energy propping up Rwanda, throwing good money after bad, hoping it will get a few flights with, what, a couple of hundred migrants off the ground. And Britain can do better. Labour will do better. We will end this farce. We will restore serious government to our borders, tackle this problem at source, and replace the Rwanda policy permanently. I think it's a mistake to think that it's the international instruments, such as the European Convention on Human Rights, that are the problem. I don't. By the end of this year, there will be 100,000 people who've arrived whose claims can't be processed. Now, uh, that means they can't be returned. That's not the European Convention that says that. That's because the government's not processing the claim. And the government's only answer is, well, uh, Rwanda. Well, to get 100,000 people to Rwanda on the base of the scheme as it now is would take 300 years. Is Nigel Farage welcome in this new Labour Party? Uh, look, I'm not going to go into... <laughs> I think that's the last uh, person who'd want to join this uh, Labour Party. But I'm not... You know, a list of names doesn't help anyone, but uh, you know, Nigel Farage won't want to join Labour. But there is, a, there is a serious underpinning point that actually, if we're to renew our country... We do need to ensure that we carry as many people with us as possible. And I genuinely think that most reasonably minded people across the country, who may or may not be into politics, we think about it all the time, most people don't, um, do want a better country for their family, for their community, and they want the country to go forward. It matters to me that we're able to have a project which reasonable people feel I can get.